Mm. I can't think of anything witty for this intro. Let's just get started, shall we? The Apocalypse. Greetings, comrades. This is Sergei sort of Kilimov. Welcome to another HD VR video. Now, update 94 is coming up soon, and it's going to add a few more Russian firearms, including the SR3M and a few pistols, the PL14 and the GSH18. I can talk today. And I figured uh, with the more Russian guns coming out, what's not the? Uh, how about we try showing off some more? Uh, no, Russian firearms. All right, it. So we've got four different uh, AKs here. Uh, get the AK-101, the AKS-74U, the tactical version of the AKS-74U, and the AS-VAL. Now, we've, we're going to do these in order, so, of course, we start off with the AK-101. Now, yes, for the familiar AK platform, this is a more modern version of it, before we got the AK-12 and AK-15. This is the AK-101. You see, definitely looks like the classic ak uh, 74, it doesn't. It's got a different muzzle brake there. Of course, we got the, uh, you know, plastic furniture as opposed to the wooden furniture we're used to, we're used to seeing. But uh, everything about it is pretty much the same. You got your se semi-auto, full auto, and uh, we have a different caliber too. Whereas the original AK-47 was chambered in 7.62 by 39, this is 5.56 by 45. So it's a more of a, it's a lighter round, of course. But uh, it feeds just reliably. <laughs> feeds just as reliably as any other caliber wooden AK frame. And of course, we have the uh, you know special sight mounting system. So if you want to put on a scope, you can do that. If it actually would want to connect, and we got the Cobra sight. Do it like that. And one cool thing. We have a Russian to Picatinny adapter, so if you want to use a traditional red dot sight or, you know, a four times scope, you can do that. Very nice to have if you want to get really tactical, especially since there's no tactical version of this, so no Picatinny rolls down here or down here. You got the Russian uh, adapter, the Russian adapter system, or you can use that Picatinny adapter if you want to, you know, give yourself a Get your own red dot sight or even a laser sight here. You can put there if you want. But for the sake of this video, we're going to do it how the Russians would. Of course, make sure it's chambered. And I forgot to set up the target, but whatever. And we'll just do 15 feet this time around. And let's go ahead and change the target too. Have a more uh, human shaped target. And. Not much here, we're just going to be shooting. So let's get started. Aiming down the sight. Very nice. And of course... <laughs> tactical reloads. This is why I love AKs. Not only they're reliable, but the way you can reload them is just <laughs> amazing. Of course, you can just pour out normally and do that, but... Let's be honest, that's boring. The only way to reload an AK is a tactical way. You can quote me on that. Another tactical reload. And... Alright. So that's the AK-101. Very nice rifle. Now... We get to the. Uh, I usually have a smaller cousin, the AK-74. This is the AKS-74U, not AK-74U. You Call of Duty noobs. Basically, it's a smaller, more compact version of the AK-74 platform. And of course, the chamber in the same round, 545 by 39, and we got uh, quite a few uh, magazines here. And it uses that same uh, Russian. Ad uh, attachment system talked about have a nice little sight there it's nice and of course we got the 10 round mags 20 round mags 30 round mags and 
If you so desire, good old AK-74 drum. <laughs> Very nice. Honestly, it looks weird when it's not a curved magazine. It says, like, straight down, but, uh, it works. For where it's worth, anyway. So, I guess we'll, uh, reset the target here. And, let's try a weak target this time. See how quickly we can, uh, tear this thing down, especially with this drum mag. Forgot to chamber it. Oh, I did. I just somehow re-engaged the safety. Very nice. Of course, drop it back in. Trumping handle, and let's go some more. Very nice. But of course, uh, that's a regular AKS 74U. Then we got the tactical version, which of course, we got a different pistol grip. No. Black furniture as opposed to the wooden furniture, and of course, as the tactical version, we got Picatinny rails. We also have a different charging handle too here, but it uh, works just the same. But yeah, with this you can put in the foregrip, put another sight if you want, and yeah, if you want a laser sight or if you want to add another scope, let's try that. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Might look, uh. Definitely looks weird, but hey. As long as we can shoot it, right? Alright, now. Again, pretty much the same as that. I've again got those tactical rails. Gotta have them. And, uh. Last one for this video. We got this bad boy. The AS Val. Now. It's in a way it's sort of an accurate to call it an AK, but we have this similar firing system. You know, we got the uh charging handle here, the safety. But uh what's interesting about this weapon <laughs> is that it's intricately suppressed. You notice this barrel here? It's a it's a nice sound suppression system, so there's no need to add a suppressor like you would in the other ones. Here it's built in. And uh if I can find it real quick, I believe it's in the assault rifle category, or maybe it is in the carbines. I actually forgot which uh, category it's in. Actually, there's one more I forgot to. For let's go ahead and show that one off too, since uh, they're they're actually very similar. They are the same gun, but they operate a little differently. So we'll get to that. Let me just find the... where the heck did I get this gun? The AS Val, there it is. Can't believe I noticed that there. But it's chambered 9x39, so I can see it here. Then it looks different from your usual 7.62 or 5.56, doesn't it? But as I mentioned before, it's integrally suppressed, so... Most of the time you hear the action of the gun going and not the actual uh, bullets being fired out. So that's very nice. So that's the AS Val. And this is the Sniper variant, which is the VSS Ventores. And uh, if you look from a distance, you're almost mistaken it for a Dragonov, but it's actually, well, Dragonov, depending on how you like to pronounce it. But yeah, it's basically the same gun as that, only this is configured for sniping. And we only have a 10 round magazine on this one. Though, funny thing, it doesn't spawn with any attachments here, so you kind of have to put them on yourself. No problem, that's why we got the scope here. Now, even though it's for sniping, you can still go full auto with this. But the real purpose of this is for sniping. Which, actually, I normally don't, uh, well, let's go that far. 
Now, one of these days, I'm going to do a proper video showing off the sniper rifles, and I'll go to the sniper range, but uh, it won't be any time right now, but, you know. Okay. I'm actually aiming down the sight. Actually, let's go ahead and clean the target, too, so that I can tell th which shots are actually from this. Okay. Not too bad. I can see from here. Mostly in the center. But you know, very nice. And again, I'm on semi auto mode, so naturally you're gonna make every shot count with that. And as I mentioned, it's integrally suppressed, so basically if you wanted a Dragonov that is uh, you know has an integral suppressor in it and is a little shorter, you'll notice it's a lot shorter than your typical Dragonov, but uh if you want a sniper that's both quiet and smaller than a Dragonov then the VSS Ventura's is for you. Got a nice little pile of guns there, but uh, yeah. And... You know, let's do one more gun. One I forgot to uh, show off in the past, but uh, I figured why not. Since, you know, again, the, Rus uh, the next update is going to add some more Russian guns, so why not cover one more? Classic Russian weapon, the Makarov. That's right, good old Russian pistol here. Should have been 9 by 18 Makarov. And we have a suppressor. Which, after coming off a of zero caliber, I gotta get used to screwing that suppressor back on. There we go. Of course, we got a standard uh, Makarov magazine, and something I don't see very often Makarov drum magazine. Which makes you think, can this go full auto? Well, not quite. And I forgot to disengage the safety again. Oh, I forgot the chamber. That's what I did. And I forgot to disengage the safety. And it's and I forgot to put in the magazine. Where'd the go, Sergey? This is what happens when you uh, take me to the range after having a little too much vodka. Oh, guess. Oh, this. The safety was already on, I couldn't engage the slide. So, that's with the suppressor now. Let's go uh, crazy here. I kind of wish this was full auto, but I think we'll manage. See how easily it chips away now? Before we had it on strong, but we set it to weak, so it chips apart a lot easier. Or, you know, if you don't like it falling apart, you can always set it to invulnerable. Come on. You want to, uh, you know, you gotta have a little tearing on the targets. You know what? I'm feeling pretty generous. Let's do one more gun, and uh, this is probably one of my favorite guns ever. And uh, I think you know which one I'm talking about. That's right. The classic. The absolute monster of an SMG in the battlefield. Yes, we know about the... Uh, Legendary World War II SMGs, one with the MP40, you know, the, the Sten, the Thompson, but the, to me, the true king of World War II SMGs is a good old PPSH-41. Talk about monstrous fire rate, and we got the 762 by 25 millimeter round. Now, this gun is an absolute legend, and we also have a modern version as well, which I might as well show us off real quick, you know. Very nice. Imagine if they actually did make a PPSH-41 in the modern era. This is probably what it would look like. You know, we got, the, of course, the Picatinny on the top, one on the bottom, so we want a grip. And, of course, you get the same destructive power of the 762 by 25 millimeter. May not seem like much, but, uh, hoo-hoo. You ain't seen nothing... You ain't seen nothing yet, comrades. 
You won't see nothing yet. Let me show you just what this gun is capable of. <laughs> before the Scorpion Evo with its huge fire rate, and before the Vector with its huge fire rate, it was all about the PPSH 41. Do one more with this, then I'll do the, the modern version. Actually, let's go two for one. The only thing deadlier than one PPSH, two PPSHs. Even though uh, the uh, well, obviously the accuracy is going to be like non-existent. But uh, who needs accuracy when you got this? There we go. <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly, eat your heart out. <laughs> so, this was originally going to be for a few AK weapons, but I guess this is considered a Russian weapon special. Which, uh, there's one more gun I left out. I know I keep leaving out guns in this video, but I can't help it, you know. Russian, fi more Russian firearms are on the way. And they're actually... A few more that I forgot to show off. This is going to be a... <laughs> wow, way to plan ahead, uh, Sergei. But whatever. Whatever. We're doing this anyway. <laughs> so, two more guns, and uh, that will be it. Let me just find that good old... Uh... I believe it's in here. I think I saw it earlier. Yeah, here we go. Well, and another variant, which might as well show that off too. Yeah, another 7.6 Super 39 gun, the SKS. We got, you know, the modern version, the classic version. A suppressor, a scope for the Mosin the Gant, which I showed that off, that weapon off already, so no need to spawn that one again. This one, however, the PP-19 Bison, another AK-style uh, weapon. However, you'll notice how much smaller it is, that's because, well, it doesn't shoot the... Uh, 762 by 39 or you know 545 by 39 instead fires 9 by 18 millimeter the same as Makarov I'm not sure but uh, what's really interesting about this weapon is of course the magazine You've got the helical magazine 64 rounds I believe now, naturally with the magazine being like this there's no grip but uh, that's fine A little more controllable than the Makarov. You go through the ammo pretty quickly. Oh yeah, I also got the uh, folding stock here. Which, there we go. Hmm. Hard to have it clipping on. Anyway, so that's the Bison. And... Last weapon in this video, I promise. The SKS. Good old semi-auto rifle. I guess you could say it's a Dragonov before the Dragonov. Which, um, no, the Dragonov's not going to be in this video, as much as I forgot that one. I'm actually saying that for the sniper video that's coming later on. But anyway, you see, semi auto rifle. Almost looks like a Mosin the Gant on steroids, doesn't it? And I just noticed that has a retractable bayonet. This does not, but it does have Picatinny rails, so it's off the hook. And of course, uh,. Well, naturally, this scope's looking for that SKS. This one has a Picatinny rail on top. Which, I don't have any of those, but anyway. I guess we'll get a few more rounds off. <laughs> I love this game. I just so love this game. That's why I do a lot of videos of it, naturally. But anyway, I guess originally the AK special is now the uh, Russian firearm special. Since we're getting new Russian firearms in the next update, I figured why not show off some of the ones we already have. <laughs> so yeah, I know, again, I know I probably left a few out, but we'll cover those in a later video. <laughs> I kind of 
this video kind of got off the rails already. If you'll excuse me, I have a little mess to clean up. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you look forward to the next one. Until then, that's what done, yeah. Atoms fall apart. Solar flares arrive. Buildings collapse. Only a few will survive.